All right, hey guys, it's me again, Jake Thompson. You all know me, doing all that in blackjack videos and such. As uh, much I was, much as I was lackadaisical today and kind of tired and lazy and all that shit and all, I mean, all that stuff, whatever. Uh, welcome to another episode of live blackjack or live Spanish Twenty One, either or. Sometimes I have the tens in the deck. Sometimes I don't. When I have the tens in the decks, it's just regular blackjack, but if there's no tens, it's Spanish 21. But there's no tens in the eight deck right now that I have, as I have fit two extra decks in the six deck. Anyway, this is the episode, and let's uh, shoot the footage. Let's, let's get on the bandwagon. And as you can tell, I have a handkerchief around my mask. You may not see it, but it's uh, for COVID-19 awareness and coronavirus purposes of protection for safety of the public. But that's neither here or there. I mean, it is here or there. It is happening now, but we're not focusing on coronavirus right now. We're focusing on playing Spanish 21 even though such current events are taking place. In this episode, as almost per usual, we'll be taking out $100 in nickels. So to boot, uh, yeah, this is 20. Uh, size it up, put 20 here, 20 here, 20 there, and 20 in the first square. I should have gone in direct order and clockwise, but oh well. So anyway, we burn a card. We have, as they do in Foxwoods, we show the card that we're burning in Foxwoods or Mohegan Sun, as they do it there. We have a nine coming into the, into the discard tray. I gotta get a new discard tray. This only holds six decks, see, but I gotta get a new eight eight deck discard tray. I got this for Christmas last year, but I think I'm trying to upgrade now. So let the game begin. We have six, we have seven, we have eight, we have nine, we have a king in the fifth circle, a jack up card, seven, seventeen, sixteen, thirteen. 19, 16, and who knows what the mystery card is. God forbid it's an ace. Nope, it's a non-blackjack hand. I'm not gonna tell you what is under the up card or in the whole card. I know it's not a, 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 a 10 or an ace, so, well, there's no 10s in Spanish 21, so there you go. This one's gonna hit. Stay, hit. 19, perfect. Let's just hope we can beat the dealer's hand. 13 takes a hit. That's 18, 19 stays. Uh, given that, 16 should surrender against a 10 value card like a jack. So here we go, we're putting back half the wager and putting the other half in the, dip, in the chip tray. Now it's the dealer's turn to act on his options. The dealer has 17. As you can tell, in most common casinos today, well, half the casinos actually, in this country, have to hit the soft 17. But this is hard 17, so that's, that's just basically it. So, this is 17, it's a push. 19 wins. I take off my long shirt so it doesn't get in the way of my dealing. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. The 19 pays off. The 18 is paid off. And the other 19 is paid off. And the 
cards that have been played out are taken into the discard tray by the dealer. 1, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, keep 100. Now normally what I'd recommend doing is if I have this kind of money being bet, is I push in for quarters from nickels. So we take these and we put them back in the chip tray, take out, or better what, wait, better yet what you could do is just keep the 50 in uh, nickels. Let's count these out and size them up. One, two, three, four, five, and there you go. So in Spanish 21, you have the option to make a bet and, and make a side bet to match the dealer's hand. So here's what I'm recommending I do is in this hand, I bet 40 and 10 for a match. 20 and 15 for a match. And the game continues. Seven here, four there, ace here, 10, eight, and there's no possible match. Does anybody want insurance? No? All right, insurance is closed. Dealer does not have a blackjack. 10 takes a hit. That's 19. 8 takes a hit. 11 takes a hit. 17 stays. Okay. <clears throat> Soft 3 or 13. Hits with a jack and has hard 13. And the next thing you know, he hits with a queen and busts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Eight units of five dollars is forty for the winning hand first off. And <coughs> and the next hand of twenty wins. First hand 50, 20 to match, another 20 for a match, and let's size this bet out, 20, 40, 60, 80, let's bet $80, and the last one 15, with no attempt in this last hand to match the dealer's card. We pull a four, pull an eight, five, king, eight, jack, nine, up card king. All right, so there's no possible match in either hand. And the game continues on. Dealer checks his hand for a blackjack and does not have a blackjack. Player hits his 8, 10, hit, stand on 20. My instincts tell me to hit 18 in order to get 2 or 3 for a 10, 20 or 21. So what do we get here? 21. What do you know? We hit with a 3 and got 21. And I am going to hit 14. 19. Now hit me with a 2. Nope. Bad move. Dealer shows a 20. And the two hands win otherwise. 
despite the last hand had busted. We having fun today. See, that's the main purpose of going to a casino is to have fun and bet with excitement and enthusiasm and still, well, have fun. Don't go to a casino if you're in a bad mood thinking you're a sore loser and you're going to lose all the time because that's not a good way to spend your time at the casino. So let's count, let's color these up. We have 80 and 80, which is 160. And I'm, and in this situation, I would tell the dealer to keep a $10 tip and give me 150 and quarters. And there you go. Oh, what fun it is to play a hand of Spanish 21. Play a handle 21, dashing through the halls in a one horse open table. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, that's a parody of uh, Christmas I'm doing for the casino scene. Two hands for 100 and a $25 bet match. Next, eight, uh, no, not eight, seven, eight, now that's an eight, six. That's nine, uh, 16, 18, and neither hand has a possible, excuse me, possible card match. 16 will stay against 6, 18 likewise will stay as well. The dealer pulls an 8, 8 hits with a 7, gets 15, and 20. I'm sorry. That is a complete and utter loss. So like in the last episode, so to speak, you run out of money, you're desperate to get your money back, you borrow some, say, a good 20 times 100 is $2,000. You borrow $2,000 from the casino in hope, hopes to get even with the casino, and you get 500, another 500, 500 and 500, 500 and four squares. That's 2,000 across. So with all these cards played out, let's hope to God we can win back what we came in with. Six, ace, queen, ace, king up card. 16, black jack, 14, 8 or 18, and the dealer checks his hand. Does not have a black jack. Player will surrender 16 against a king card. Thus sends that hand. So. <clears throat> We get 500 and 500 and 250. Good show. Maybe then we'll get even with the casino after all that money we lost. Let's hope. Player hits. Has 19, stays. 18 takes a hit or eight, and gets a soft 20 and stays. Dealer pulls a 12, hits with a nine, and has 21. How unfortunate. So you borrowed 500 from the casino. No, 2,000. You got 100. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, 
900, 1,000, 1,100, 1,200, 1,300, 1,400, and 1,500 if you count the four quarters. So you're stuck $2,000 in debt. In an instance of any case, I would bet two hands still for $500 and make a $50 match bet. So the game continues. Deuce, deuce, seven, three of 13, five, no possible match. And the game continues. Three or 13 takes a hit. 12 will take a hit and loses. This one takes a hit on five. 14 take a hit. Loser. Of course, you can't say loser at a casino because you're, you'll be insulting the players. You get fired for that. 100. 300 a bet. Well, 300 a bet. Of course, 100 to match the dealer. King. Eight. Blackjack. No match. But blackjack pays three to two. So far, so good. Bet 754 match hand. Three. Player takes a hit. 17 stays. Dealer comes up with a five. Hits with an ace. Has six or 16. Six or 16. This plus six is hard 12. Hard 12 hits with an 8 and has 20. That's a complete and utter loss. So the next thing you know, he's getting even more desperate and he takes out a docker of now 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, $5,000 and now owes <clears throat> up to $7,000 total in debt. So that's 1, 2, Three, four, five. One, five hands worth a thousand each. Six, two, jack, four, four, queen, sixteen, six, twelve, fourteen, eleven. Dealer checks his whole card. Doesn't have a blackjack. Player hits and busts. Player hits. Player hits again. That's a loss. Hit. Hit again. That's a complete loss. Well, looks like he's getting creamed. I uh, just to say the player at the table is getting creamed. Hit 14. Still busted. So next thing you know, he has 11, and he marks up another 1,000 to <clears throat> double down. And now he's $8,000 in the hole. And what does he get? 19. 14, pulls a queen and busts. Next thing you know, he has still $4,000 on the table. He owes $8,000 to the casino. So the next thing you know, he's gonna put down 3,000 and 1,000 for a dealer match.
eight. In Spanish, 21, a non-suited eight, say, for example, an eight of spades to an eight of clubs, pays three to one. <clears throat> Assuming the dealer has an 18, in this situation, I would try to hit with a two, three, or four on 17 against eight. To try to get 19, 20, or 21. Wait, 2, 19, 20, or 21. Yeah, that, I got the math right the first time. But I'm not going to do that because that's sucker play. So what I'm going to do is stay. Oh, bad move. $8,000 in debt. What a shame. So the next thing he does is he marks up another 2000 as he has 4000 remaining. $6,000 is now being bet. And then what do we have here is a jack, a two, a queen, 16, seven. Next thing you know, dealer does not have blackjack. Player hits, gets 19, stays, 7 takes a hit, 15 stays, because he knows that if he tries to draw to get a good 21 hand, he's going to possibly bust, so he stays. So what does the dealer pull? A 14, and then with a 9, the dealer busts. So still the player owes $10,000 as he had originally been $8,000 in debt and now he's $10,000 in debt. So let's count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take down the markers. The debt is paid off, and he has $2,000 left over. But that doesn't mean the show's over, folks, because we're only just getting started, or so to speak, we're halfway through nearly. So the next thing that the player at the table does is he takes his $2,000, and he changes it to... 500, 1,000, 1,000 blue chips, which are, which are, I would propose to be $500 chips, and he takes out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 100. That's $2,000 in lower denomination chips. So I guess he did get even with the casino, and he gets to keep $2,000. In this situation, what I'd do, if this were me, I would tip the dealer $500. Thank you. Next thing you know, I'm betting $300, $100 a match, and $1,000, and $100 a match as well. The next hand goes ace, ace, a jack, 10 or 20, two aces, and there's no possible match. Player stays, player takes a hit, player takes another hit, 18, take another hit. Congratulations, you got a five card 21. In Spanish 21, it pays approximately, I would think it pays three to one if you get a five card 21. But we better <clears throat> do the math here. Let's see, seven or more pays three to one. 
Six card 21 pays three to two. Oh, that's right. Five card 21 pays two to one. So that's 300, 300 and 300. Very good show. And the dealer pulls a 20, and that's a push for the first hand. Rack them up, boys. The show's just getting started. Three, 300, 600, 900, and 1,000 for a match. Two, five, 12. No match, unfortunately. Hit. And that's a bust. You lost all your remaining wins. See? And the dealer had a nine. See? You would have lost anyway. Now the show's over. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel, Blackjack Con. And be sure to like my videos. Thank you. Oh, yeah, and uh, feel free to uh, meet me on Facebook. My name's Jacob Thompson. Friend me on Facebook. I'm not going to tell you my address, phone number, or anything like that personal because it's for protection and identity purposes only for me to know and for you to never find out because it's none of anyone's business of my personal information. I'm not even going to tell you my bank account numbers or any of my SSI social security shit like that because, oh shit, you can't say shit in the casino because you get fired as a dealer for swearing in front of the players. But anyway, the show's over. Thank you. And we are out till next time.